Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Shanka Show. Здравствуйте, дорогие товарищи. Okay, today I decided to make this short video. I found another interesting item from my archives. I guess uh, there is uh, some benefits of being a pack rat because I kept a lot of stuff. And I keep on bringing stuff back from Ukraine every time I come to visit my parents. I dig through our uh, papers there in Kiev, and if they don't need it, I'll just like, I'll take it here. Because some of them become now uh, very interesting. So what you're looking at here is the March 8 green card. If you watch my video about uh, most popular um, holidays, top 10 popular holidays in Soviet Union, uh, you should know by now that March 8 so-called International Women's Day, Международный женский день, was the uh, Valentine and Mother Days combined. And this is an example of one of the postcards that uh, your mother or your girlfriend uh, would get from somebody. So this is not a, one of the most attractive ones, but this one has a really interesting background, which you're going to look at it right now. I'm not sure after watching my videos and seeing pictures of me when I was a teenager, when I was a kid, maybe you got this idea that I was a quite nerdy kid, and you're probably right. So anyways, this is a postcard uh, that I wrote and dedicated to my mother, because, you know, as I said, March 8th is a Mother's Day, and this is my handwriting. So this is based on the address so here we're looking this is we say kuda where so in soviet union addresses were written different like here in america in america first you write name surname and you know and then you put address in soviet union first will be like says ukraine for example then city then street the name of the person but in this case this card was never mailed i just put so this is when we already lived in a three-room apartment. So my mom was in the middle room. So this theater says to the middle room to for my mom, mommy. And as you see, Soviet postcards quite often already had a pre-printed uh, stamp. So this stamp, not you know, separate stamp that you glue on, it was already printed with the stamp. So it's a four copics. And the date is like 19, what, 66. The actual postcard was printed, you see it here, in 1979. But the price never changed since 1966, it looks like it. So you got the Soviet um, symbol, and then you have a sickle and a hammer. And this is obvious, so this is enough to for the postcard to go airmail. This is my handwriting, and reminder again... I am lefty, but I got switched to the right hand. So still, you see, there's a hope you can get switched from left hand to right hand and you still can have a neat handwriting. And here it says, Daragaya Mamachka. I'll use pen instead of my finger. Daragaya Mamachka, dear mom, поздравляю тебя с днем 8 марта. So greetings with the March 8th day. Желаю тебе здоровья, счастья и долгих лет жизни. I wish you uh, health, happiness, and long years in your life. Standard kind of, we always wish something when we send greeting cards. Then it says, обещаю хорошо учиться. I promise to study well. Since uh, So this is probably fourth grade. So I'm about 11, 10 year old. And here it's signed, your son, твой сын, Сергей. Now, this is the interesting part on this uh, card. And I would like to talk a little bit more about it. Well, index. So they designed the actual automatic uh, system for sorting letters and postcards. So this is, you see, the standard shape. I'll find another card. We'll look at it without my, because I wrote my name, Sergey. It's actually exactly six letters. So S, you know, C is a Russian S, E, E, R, G, E, A, Sergey. But usually it's a six-digit number which corresponds to the city or village. And for example, it used to be Kiev had 252, 252. That was the uh, index of Kiev. And then 
Last three digits would correspond to the local postal office in Kyiv as a huge city, three million people population that time. So you have a lot of post offices. So the last three digits will be post office. First three digits will be city, 252. Now, like our village up north, it was a Cherniga region, then it got Shores, mini region, I'll say Rayon. So it got Oblast Rayon and then Postal Office. So that will be number that corresponds with Cherniga, and then down will be other index. So as I say, once again, stamp on the top, already preprinted. Address Kuda means where, Kamu, to whom. And here, and that's your return address. Index предприятия связи и адрес отправителя. So here you write uh, who sent the card in this case. And of course, if they'll be mailed, then you have a, a cancellation stamp on the top. So this is how the uh, standard Soviet postcard looked like. And as I said, it looks like it was printed in 1979. So to, right now it's 40 years old. Holy cow, we're getting old. Okay, so here's the example of the uh, newer card. This was, was published in 1991. So this is the last year of existence of the Soviet Union. And we had inflation apparently because now stamp is 5 kopecks. It's still preprinted. Still we got Soviet banner and Soviet uh, symbol, GERB, Post SSSR, Post USSR Post. Once again, and this is how the empty looks. So you can draw any number, you know, one, two, three, four, five, up to nine. And this is, will be your um, index for mailing. So this is just card that uh, shows a key of, just like a souvenir card. Another card from my collection. This is the most popular holiday in Soviet Union, New Year Eve. So there's the card called Snovem Godom, which is the with New Year. We don't say Happy New Year. Snovem Godom with New Year. Not my favorite type. I got a lot of these postcards. I said I was a part of this multi-level uh, mailing scheme. Then you send, you know, 10 cards, or 12 postcards, random postcards to random addresses. And then you add your name, remove some name, and then... A couple of months later, you get hundreds, like 400 postcards. I was part of it, and actually I got so many postcards. That's one of those that we got when we never used. So this card is from 1984, and it tells you the artist is Savielieva. So some lady named Savielieva created the art. Now, this one has a real post stamp, and it's three copics. So it's probably not air mail, just a regular mail. And has a symbol from Moscow, a worker and a peasant lady holding together a hammer and a sickle. Maybe it's worth some money now, I don't know. And price of the card is two kopecks, so pretty inexpensive, but it says tirage. So they t uh, printed, they made two, I apologize, three million of this postcard. So this Happy New Year postcard, they printed 3 million of those. Pretty impressive. Another card. This one is Ukrainian because it's in Ukrainian language. It says uh, you are invited. Zaprosium. So it's usually will be for wedding invitation. Just a basic picture of some uh, flowers and fruits. Kind of similar layout on the back. It was printed in Ukraine. It tells you that publishing house is Radyanska Ukraina, Soviet Ukraine, 1978. No stamp. Well, there's a place for stamp and it says you need to place a five kopek. Actually, maybe that's the price of the card. Uh, five kopecks for this card. And they t uh, printed one million of these cards. And once again, you got index spot. This is quite an interesting postcard. This is actually Kustanay, big city in Kazakhstan. I used to have a pen pal. I correspond with the kid. So after that scheme was multi-level postcard business, 
I also started getting tons of letters, uh, mostly girls, and they wanted to correspond with me. And of course, you know, they didn't know my age. A lot of them were girls, you know, like in eighth grade, ninth grade, so more like teenagers. And I was only 11 or something, fourth grade, I think I was. And so I had to answer them, sorry, you know, I'm a young kid, blah, blah, blah. So one lady, one girl said, hey, I have a brother that would like to correspond with you. So we became a pen pals for maybe three, four years. And his mother was collecting postcards. So I was sending him my postcards from Kiev, and he was sending me postcards from Kustanai, uh, from this uh, Kazakh city. So this is one of the buildings, the Dom Bita. I even don't know how to translate. So this is like a service building where you can repair your electronics, uh, fix your clothes, and stuff like that. And there's the Russian Volga car right there. And of course, now you should be familiar uh, with the design of the back. Uh, here we got interesting uh, stamp, three copics. Shows young uh, Komsomol uh, badge and young lady and young guy, so they Komsomolci. And it says Kustanai, and it says in Russian and in Kazakh language, Express Turmis Uyi. This uh, kid Vasily, he also sent me uh, several postcards uh, from Karaganda. Not from, but because it's also uh, in Kazakhstan, I believe. And this is how a uh, standard Soviet movie th theater looked like. This is a smaller scale movie theaters. And I remember them similar design in Kiev. This one's called Jubileini. So you have this interesting front, big windows, stairs. Uh, so this is like a standard design of the movie theaters in the Soviet Union. So this postcard also from um, late 70s. Okay, guys, and this is the most unique postcard that I own. I wonder if you can guess what it's from. I mean, those are palm trees, right? So you might think it's a Black Sea. It's not. It's Caribbean. Uh, my godfather, Kriosny Otec, he went and he worked in Cuba in early 80s. And this is one of the postcards he sent to us. So this is postcard from Cuba. Unfortunately, he didn't mail it separately. He made it in a letter, so it never had a stamp. And you see it got creases and stuff. But this is a Cuban postcard from the early 80s. And this is the back of it. Tarjeta Postal. I can read some Spanish. Cuba. Unfortunately, I don't see the date. Uh, but interestingly enough, it's in... Spanish, it's in English, and it's in Russian. So it's a swimming pool in a hotel uh, colony, Pinos Island, or Pines, Isle of Pines. It says in English, in Russian, they wrote Ostrov Pinos. So instead of Pines, they wrote Pinos. So the Isle of Pines in Cuba, motel colony. So that's a postcard from there. He worked there, I think, for a year. My dad had a chance to go there too, but my mom, for some reason, didn't let him. And, uh, yeah, he never went there, unfortunately. But my, as I said, my godfather, he uh, spent there all year and he sent me some cool toys. He really liked me, so he sent me cool toys from Cuba. I, I was the coolest kid in the whole neighborhood with those uh, Agent 007 uh, guns and stuff. Well, I hope you like this video. It's a little bit unusual, but I got a lot of junk I brought uh, from back home. So if you think it's interesting, I can make more videos. Uh, this is another one from Kustanai, Dom Pionierov. So you could see girls in a school uniform. So it's a pioneer palace. And this is uh, also uh, some kind of pilot or something, a monument in Karaganda. All right, uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye.
Hey, by the way, a cool merch for cool comrades is available at the Ushanka store at teespring.com. And if you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Ushanka Show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet Union.